Hey guys, welcome to Choose Your Own Path. <laughs> so, you just seen part one of the owl stick. Uh, we're probably gonna have to do this in stages because um, it's gonna take a lot of video and shit like that. So, oops, sorry. Um, so today, as in a little bit past this morning, we're gonna keep on. So what we're doing here now is we're gonna make the handle. So we need for where your hand goes. And then we're going to continue with the rock formation all the way down. It's going to be different. It's going to be different. So that's that's what I'm about. It's different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to even all the way around here. And then I want to kind of make like a little lip. And then we'll dig this stuff down to a proper hand size. And then the same at the bottom, put a little lip. And then the rest of it, we're just going to carve out till it gets to the right size of like, say, these kind of rocks looking kind of things. All right, ready, set, go. Let's do it. Set you guys up so you can see. All right. So again, we're using our cuts all. We're happy, yes. Let's go at it. we're going to do is we're going to change up our bit. We're going to go to the bigger flame and this way we can get more done. It'll be, it'll be quicker we'll say, right? So all I do is for the change is just it's a pretty simple quick change. These are big hand pieces. That's a big fall. Um, so they're easy to change out. You want to get something that's comfortable um, for your hands. I'm just so used to these. I've never purchased another one yet. Um, I've been saying this before and I'm going to do it one day is I'm going to upgrade to the heavy duty um, shaft and uh, you have to change your holder, your, your hand piece if you do that, okay? So it's just the way it is. But I'm, I'm just going to do with this as what I got until I break it. When I break it, I'll get mad and then I'll end up ordering one. All right, let's go. <coughs> All right, guys. So this is the kind of look I'm, I'm going for. So that you'll see the top has a sort of like an upper, so your hand can stay there and the bottom will fit perfectly. I'm doing this for my hand, which is somewhat, I'm not huge, but I got a big hand too. So we're gonna whittle, or, grind it down to a good size so what you want to do is when you're making a, um, a walking stick is you got to be able to hold it properly so like say about this thickness would be good all the way down so we want to make that and then like I said the rocks will still work on that with it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it up um, we're gonna go back to the angle grinder because excuse me <clears throat> I can get more material off with that. You've seen this skipping a couple of times. Again, I'm having issues. I need one of those little bolts that go from the long end of this. It goes into the machine and it's like a like a little hex nut or something. I don't even know what they call it. It disappeared. Don't ask me where the hell it went. Maybe when I changed it, it fell out and I didn't notice it. You know. Either way, <clears throat> we'll get that set up and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I said we were going to use the angle grinder. Uh, the Arbitec, I meant the die grinder. So the um, burrs fit per perfectly in these guys. Uh, this, I can't remember what it was called, but it is the uh, cuts all. Uh, it's a big ball burr, I guess. It takes off a lot. It's extreme, boy, let me tell you. These fit perfectly in your die grinders. So what we're going to do is we set ourselves up into the jaw horse, and we're going to be taking out as much as we can and we'll kind of strip off the rest here, if we could do that. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So put on the eyeglasses, because this is gonna be a lot messier. <clears throat> All right, guys. So the next step that I do order to finish the width 
the width of the bottom cane. So what we do is we grab a stop. So we're just going to use this guy's stopper because I have to go get some more from a buddy of mine. If this is not, oh no, it's great. This is the one I made a couple months back. Eh? I don't know if you guys seen that one. Dragon. Dragon. Yeah, love it. Anyway, um, so what I do with this now, so I got, these are all standard. Uh, I think they're an inch and a half sort of thing, whatever. So what I do is I end up finding the center. Then I take my trusty old black marker Whoop. come on so I'll figure out my center which is pretty simple you know I just use the wood as an example and then I'll just trace this all the way around now the thing with this is as you can see, I traced it, but this is the outside of it. So when you're doing your capping, you have to go a little bit more on the inside, like you'll be like you'll be cutting past the line around um, in order for this to fit. Now, once that fits in there, the rest of the stick is just based on how you're going to shave it. Okay, so not very difficult. Just time consuming. So we're gonna put this guy back in here. Maybe we should put this guy like that. So we don't have to screw up as much. Put him in the draw horse. Like so. And uh, back down. And yeah, so we're just gonna take off the amount that we need. So I measure it also, I measure it up to where it's gonna stop, which is about here. So there's about a good two inches that has to come down past your line behind here, okay guys? That's what we're looking for. So, well now, the best way to use with that tool would be to go to the Arbor Tech, which is this guy, and then using the round, uh, the flat um, disc to kind of get around. It'll cut a lot of wood. It's unfortunate I don't have a bigger shop vac in here that could suck up all the dust. Oh, messy, messy, messy shop. It's not good. But we'll get that all set up. All right, guys, so let's get this going. All right, so we're going to do a test, see if it fits. And it's still a little tight. So we got to take a little bit more off. Let's just do it. Don't forget, guys, get your Uncle Wiener's vest or apron. <laughs> Uncle Wiener. <laughs> That's just hilarious. Okay, so we're good. I would maybe cut this down a bit more. If you could see it, it's a little tight. I would cut it just a little bit more down. I'm going to spin it, though. So, as you can see, that's the size we want. Now, what we want to do is trim the whole stick to about that thickness. Maybe a little thinner because you don't want it overly large, right? Um, ends up, if you go, if, if, if your stick is even too thick, it just becomes very heavy. Uh, you know, the less wood, the better, I guess. It's a lot of work, but it's worth the price. All right guys, so now we're just gonna thin it out. So what I did, I did it off camera, was I cut into it like in lines. So this way, um, when now I'm gonna go on the side of it, like this, normal way, it'll get rid of some of it, but it'll leave some of the lines in so that we could use that as our rock formation. It just works out really well that way. So let's go. <laughs> So you can see the difference where it's thicker up here and thinner down here. That's what we're going for. We're going to try to get it to one 
easy length. And then we'll just do a little bit of sanding. Uh, we'll do in the stone look. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, we'll give it maybe a little burn. We'll work on the feathering. Also, we're just going to do everything. That's all we're doing. Everything. So we're going to start it from here now. Because what we want to do is keep... We want to keep the uh, the length of this side, the smaller side that I just the back end, so I can stand, you know, on either sides and I can pull away, and I know exactly where I am. Then you just gotta flip it over a couple times. So let's let's go. All right, guys. So we pretty much brought it down to the size we want. I'm pretty happy with that. Plus with the handle, it's, it fits nicely in my hand. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sand it down, kind of. Try to make it more, I'm just trying to look to see if I missed any spots, because when you look down your stick, you can see if it's crooked or if there's like a big ass end here or something like that. Just looking good. What you can do, or what I'm gonna do, is I can take a rasp to it and then rasp around it. <coughs> Excuse me. And that will allow me, there's another wasp in here. Allow me to, um, round off the areas that are up and again it's a cuts all rasp guys these things are awesome what I also want to do is I want to make sure this is nice and round so I'll just get in here with um, bring down more with uh, the cuts all rasp or file whatever you want to call it let's just let's put it in the vise it'll be a better better kick at it Trying to keep it as level as I can. Lock it and go. This way you can use two hands. And you can see where it's higher, lower. <coughs> Sorry. Where you can see things better. All right. So that looks pretty good. You'll need a hand sanding, but that fits my hand perfectly for walking. It might be a little bit short for me. You can't see me. It might be a little bit short for me because my hand should be here when I'm walking. So it's a little bit shorter. Um, you can get extensions. This will, you know, maybe extend it by half an inch or so. Not very much. But it's, it is what it is, right? So, yeah. So uh, I guess the next uh, part of it will be to... Um, do the rocks and then the feathering. So we'll get that done. All right, guys. We're going to use the old term, who shit the bed this morning? This guy. <laughs> Look what time it is. I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning. Holy cow, let me tell you. Those who have problems with their back and sciatic nerves, I feel it, man. It's fucking brutal. Pardon my F-words. So I'm in the shop. It's pitch dark outside. Wife and the kids are sleeping. Cat's probably tearing up the house. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just in pain. So, I'm up doing a video. Gotta do something. Working on this guy. So, we still haven't done the whole stick with the, the rock formation or anything. It's way too early in the morning to make that much kind of noise. So what I did is I penciled in some um, feathers. Now guys, you can be random on it. I don't know a bird that has perfect feathers, you know, unless you're one of those guys that do animals or, you know, wildlife and they do them perfectly i don't i know nothing about that i just do them the best i can so all i did was i took my pencil and i did a bunch of little i guess v's all the way around bigger ones for here smaller ones for the body you know got his eyes in there so got a reference book here something in my mouth and um got my coffee ready Razor dip. This is the tool I use to burn. All right, guys. It's called the razor dip, and it's the SK model. 
Comes with a bunch of different bits. You can get whatever you want. The pens, I guess they're called. These are pens are, they have little screws on them. All right, so you could interchange them. You can get the pens that are, has the solid um, tips to them, like they don't come off. It's up to you. I mean, you could use just a normal Walmart Canadian Tire, you know, whatever Hobby Lobby burning tip, as long as, you know, it burns. The thing about the razor tip that I like about them, they burn hot. Still something in my mouth. Not a wasp. <laughs> so, all we're going to do is um, burn in our feathers, I guess. Um, follow the lines. And then maybe put a little a little line where, like, when it comes to a V, right from the tip of the V, go up, put a little bit of a line, put a, little, a couple little marks on it. That indicates the feathering. Uh, burn deep, maybe. Burn hot, yeah. So this guy goes to a maximum of 10. I have no idea what the degree on these things are, but I mean, you could cook a chicken with that because I've cooked my finger. I touched it once and boy, that was hot. Still something in my mouth. Okay, so we're here for the, for the ride, guys. You're, I mean, I'm up, you're not, but you'll see this later. It's dark outside and my leg's killing me. So. Let's start this off. Enough complaining, eh? Positive, right? Positive. So, let's click on our, our burner. I set it to about mm, eight or nine. Pretty good. Eight. This guy will get fairly red. Now, maintenance on these are you should or you have to clean them. Now, the only way to clean them, and I'm not set up for it, but I'll just take this as an example. You take a little bit of sandpaper, give it a couple of little scrapes. That takes off all the charring or whatever you want to call it on there. And it's good to go. So, I just keep that handy. So, we'll put ourselves down here and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go at it, right? Why not? So let's set you guys down. You may not see this very well, but you'll see it after. So like I said, all I'm doing is I'm just going to follow my lines with a V. And then when I'm done that V, I'll put a little line in the center. So... Something like, where the hell did it go? Right there, right with my finger, see my finger? Right there. That'll indicate a feather. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just keep on going. And when I say random, I mean, they don't have to be perfect. I mean, you gotta look at it this way. It's a bird, it's sitting out in the wind. Um, you don't wanna overlap it. But you want to kind of make them, um, I guess a little bit, of, you know, like a skew, I guess the word would be. Moved around. Feathers are not always perfectly together. You know what? It's your bird. Do what you want to do. Do what you think looks best. It will turn out perfect at the end because you did it. I did it. We all did it. Right? So... We're just going to go at a couple of these here. I mean, I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera. Because that would take a long time. I mean, it'd be so much fun to watch me burn every feathering in. But I will do a couple right now. And then I'll show you where I'm at. And then I'll continue after. So this is kind of what we're looking at, guys. Just up here. <laughs> um, you know, putting little V's in and a line in the middle that makes a feather. When I go to airbrush it, the uh, the indentation of the feather will be there. And uh, 
have to just show you guys because it's the easiest way. So I'll keep on doing this. You guys go back to bed. We'll see you in a bit.